Good evening. I hope all of you are well today. Um, this is going to be the second in a series of 12 videos um, I shared in the last one about how in 2015, I think it was, that I um, hired a friend of ours to uh, make me a scripture quilt of my favorite scriptures. And it turned out there were 12 scriptures. And I'm sure I had some beyond that. But um, uh, the Lord is leading me to share those 12 scriptures, one per video, and to just share with you what they meant to me or what, you know, I got out of them and learned from them. Um, this, so this is the second one. And um, this is taken from Acts 26. Um, this is the story of Paul, who was Saul at that time, uh, uh, Jesus calling on his life um, to leave his former life behind him and now to follow Jesus and become a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so this is what Jesus said to uh, Saul, who later became Paul, on the road to Damascus when Paul was uh, Saul was getting ready to uh, go persecute a bunch of more Christians, which is what he was doing at the time. Uh, and Jesus said, Now get up and stand on your feet. I have appeared to you to appoint you as a servant and as a witness of what you have seen of me and what I will show you. I will rescue you from your own people and from the Gentiles. I am sending you to open their eyes and turn them from darkness to light, from the power of Satan to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and a place among those who are sanctified by faith in me. Uh, a lot of these verses are special to me because God used them in my life in um, ways where he was uh, showing me what his calling was on my life. Um, this verse I have dated in September of 1984. That uh, was right after I had a, 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 a back surgery. <laughs> but, um, you know, all throughout uh, my adult life, the Lord had been preparing me for the ministry that he has called me to um 18 years ago uh not that i didn't do ministry before it i did but this is very specific to what he's having me do now um now uh, what jesus called paul to do i'm going to just say paul because that's who we know him as um was to share the gospel i mean what this is saying is the gospel so this isn't something that's just unique to him but all of us are called to share the gospel uh we we read in matthew 28 you know that we're to go into all the world and to make disciples of people of all nations um baptizing them um if we can and teaching them to to obey everything the lord has commanded us you know so obedience is very very important in the gospel um, we read in, uh, Acts, Acts 1, 8, I think it is, you know, that we're, when the Holy Spirit comes upon us, that we become his witnesses to, you know, people throughout the world for good or for bad, you know, because we share the, uh, bear the name of Jesus. So our lives are either a good witness for Jesus or they're a bad witness for Jesus. Uh, we also read in, uh, Matthew 5, that we are the light of the world and the salt of the earth. Uh, and so we are to, we are to take the word of God that, uh, to, the, to the people of the world and to share with them. And, uh, and then we read in 1 Peter 2, 9, that uh, we as, as the Lord's um, servants and witnesses and his um, followers, that, uh, that we are to share the uh, proclaim the excellencies of him who called us out of darkness into his wonderful light and there again we have the message of the gospel is uh which is the the whole idea of jesus death was not so that we could just get forgiven our sins so that when we die we go to heaven 
And that's what a lot of people were saying, but that's not the truth of the gospel. The truth of the gospel is that we are to die to our old lives, be crucified with Christ in death to sin, and then be raised with Christ to walk in newness of life in him. And you can read that in uh, Romans 6, um, that we're supposed to uh, put off the old life of living in sin and for self, and to put on that new life in Christ, uh, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. And you can read that in Ephesians 4, uh, 17 to 24, and also in Luke 9, uh, 23 to 26, uh, all through the New Testament. You know, this is the presentation of the gospel that we have, and we're, we're all called to do that. Um, but, you know, this was the Lord encouraging me that, uh, th that this was his uh, specific calling on my life as well, to um, that he is sending me. Uh, and but he's sending all of us, you know, it's just we don't all accept the call. <laughs> and um, but uh, it, was, it was the Lord encouraging me. Uh, and then when it starts with now get up and stand on your feet. Now, um, for Paul, that was a different reason. But the Lord often gave me scriptures about get up, you know, stand up, you know, uh, don't be afraid because I was a very fearful person. And um, I, I had to, I had to learn to get over that and to just to trust the Lord. Uh, I, I remember at one time in, in my life, uh, I was going through something and I was trying and I was retreating from it uh, out of fear. And the Lord told me I needed to get back in there and, and fight it through. And I, my response to the Lord was, but Lord, you don't understand. <laughs> I really thought he didn't. I mean, I really... That was my concept of him, that he he could he could comfort me, you know, he was there for me, uh, but he d didn't have any power over uh, the people in my life or over situations in my life, and I had to learn that that he did, you know, that he is completely sovereign, um, that nothing happens in my life but what he allows, and he allows it for a purpose and. But many times, you know, he had to say, get up, stand up, move, you know, go, you know, and it, stop being afraid and stop, uh, stop retreating. And, you know, and even though I kept coming up against these obstacles and, and being beat up sometimes, you know, not necessarily physically, but emotionally, um, that, that I had to overcome that. I had to overcome that and the strength of the Lord. And I had to. I think he allowed me to go through what he did uh, to strengthen me so that I would um, be able to stand uh, even if everybody turned against me. And um, so he he was building this in my life over many years and, and making me strong uh, because he, he was calling me. You know, he had a specific calling on my life that would involve sharing the gospel, which is what I do every day. And, and and talking to people about Jesus and telling them that the Bible says that we're to turn away from our sins. That's why Jesus died. He died that we might die with him to sin and live to him in righteousness. You know, and that's, um, and I know that verse, and it's just escaping my mind right now. Um, but, uh, and I quote it all the time. <laughs> Sorry, um, but I'm old. <laughs> uh, but you can look it up. And, um. Anyway, <clears throat> the, the, whole, the whole purpose of the gospel is that we would turn away from our lives of sin, turn away from uh, all the things of this world, and, and that we would, we would act, I mean, like die to that life, you know, and, and now be born again. And born again means now we have a new life created in Christ Jesus to be like Christ, you know, to be like God. And to not be like we were before we believed in Jesus, and so this is a this is a great message here. It's a great message of of hope, but it is also a, a wonderful picture of the gospel, uh, which we are to be living ourselves first, uh, and then we are to be sharing with other people. And so um, I wanted to share that with you today, and there will be more coming. Uh, since there's 12 verses all together, okay?
All right. And as always, I love you uh, because I, I love God and I love you. And that's why I do what I do. Okay. Bye-bye.